You cannot use a shield in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. While the combat system is similar to Origins, we now got an answer from the creative director on the game on why that is. I will add some info from my E3 interviews as well and impressions on playing the game without the shield. Plus we got way more new Odyssey info from a recent Ask Me Anything. And there is a free AC item you can download right now on the PlayStation Store. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Let's start with the whole shield thing because I've seen a lot of comments about it with people not being happy that you can't use a shield and there is even a petition right now so let's get one thing out of the way first while Cassandra and Alexios might have been a Spartan warrior in the past you play as them as mercenaries and yes I agree wearing these big hoplon shields would be cool but what the developers say is that they try to achieve a more active combat system more offensive since we got the spear of Leonidas you'll be using that weapon a lot in the offhand when using one-handed weapons and with that spear you of course do most of the abilities Ubisoft mentioned that it just felt better to have that weapon in your hands than a shield in the offhand good to note and this is also what the creative director mentioned is that you can still parry and of course dodge around and also what I found is that there are way less enemies shooting bow and arrow also on a horse and that was like mostly why I hold up my shield in Origins to block these incoming projectiles. So while archers are still in Odyssey I was told that they are way less prominent compared to Origins so that makes the shield way less useful in Odyssey. And I got to say I played Odyssey for like six hours now I really needed to get used to the fact that you don't have a shield that you have to be more aggressive but in the end you will feel more like a badass charging onto your enemies using the different abilities killing off the enemies with your bow. I really like after a half an hour after an hour I kind of forgot how it felt to use a shield since you are so focused on building up your adrenaline to do these new abilities because if you could like hide behind your shield in this game it would mean that you do not build any adrenaline to do these active abilities and doing these new abilities is of course kind of the point of Odyssey because they introduced this new system so while I do get that people don't like the change I would say don't judge it like too soon until you get your hands on it because in the end it did not really bother me. The shield thing is just one topic that the creative director Jonathan Dumont touched on on the official AMA on Reddit. Another big thing was about reversible covers because all the Odyssey covers we see so far feature Alexios, no sign of Cassandra. Well, it's now confirmed that all the physical copies of the game will have reversible covers with Alexios on one side and if you then switch it over you got Cassandra on the other one. So you can pick what you want and that's good news because we do need that Cassandra love as well. Let's talk gear. I of course already showed you this awesome Spartan War Hero set and it was noted in the AMA that in most cases items are not randomly placed in the world but that you have to follow objectives to earn a set yourself. What I found was that the Spartan War Hero set was like fully obtainable in this sort of small section of the game that was only playable in the demo. So I would imagine that a full set is like really close to each other. Of course, if you wear a full set, you get a gear set bonus. So it totally like rewards you for getting all the different pieces. It was noted that you can't change the color of your armor, but you can mix and match with the different gear sets to yeah, make the character look how you want. But as I noted in a previous video, there are no like cosmetic only items. So all the gear items will have stats attached to them. Some quick questions were asked about a dynamic weather system that will be in Odyssey, including including a storm that will make sailing even more challenging. It was noted that the lip sync will be improved for the vinyl version. Of course the footage that you see right here is all from an E3 2018 demo. So Ubisoft still has time to polish it up before the October 5th release and they will do that so that is good news. I already showed you some romance gameplay and we'll have more coming your way really really soon. It was noted in the AMA that you have many different romance options and you can like choose to engage and get out if you want. 
So the two with Kira and Taletas are just a few of the overall options in the game. It was also confirmed that Odyssey will have more content than Origins. And Origins was of course already a pretty big game. So this is pretty exciting. I'm especially curious to hear more about endgame specific stuff. So stuff you can really only do on the max level. They were kind of tight lipped on that for now. Of course a lot of people on Reddit are interested in the modern day aspect of Odyssey as well. And the creative director mentioned that the modern day is not optional. Everyone will experience it but you can choose to experience more via dialogue options. So the choices are of course new and it can really go both ways that you may make choices in the modern day to have this section like be longer. But what I think he's talking about is that you have like four options so you can ask about more background info with the first three. But if you just want to go back to Agent Grease, you can also just select the bottom option and then continue with the game. It's something I already saw in the many quests in the game, so maybe that is the approach they are taking. The only thing we know right now about the modern day in Odyssey is that it will continue the story of Layla we of course saw in Origins. In terms of how Odyssey fits in the Assassin's Creed lore, it was noted that they wanted to tell a story on how the first civilization artifacts created what would become the Templar vs Assassin story which took place well before the Brotherhood and if you're not familiar Odyssey takes place 400 years before Origins by the way it was also noted that there will be more civilization artifacts in Odyssey than the Spear of Leonidas but of course to avoid spoilers no more info was given there will also be references made to older AC games but again, no specific info. Some other tiny pieces of info before I want to move to something cool you can download in the PlayStation Store right now. You can upgrade your weapons, hull and ramming of your ship and the crew you can recruit like in the world and can bring to your ship. They also bring perks to enhance your ship overall. But ships will not be as core to the game as in Black Flag. It will have a more arcade approach. There are also no cannons because that fits of course with the era, but you can use arrows, javelins, and an emphasis on cleaving and ramming. Last thing I want to note is that parkour tomb puzzles will make a return in Odyssey, so that is pretty cool. I put a link to the full AMA in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself, but I think I touched on a lot of the answers here in this video. The link goes to a post from Ghost Leader BG who put all the answers together, so great job on that one. And yes, you already see it here, the dynamic team for Assassin's Creed Odyssey that is now available for download on the PlayStation Store in Europe and the US as far as I know. It's also free. Just search for Teams or Assassin's Creed Odyssey and you'll find it on the game page there as well. So I kind of had to get used to this gold, like it's pretty bright. But what is going on is that if you go to the top menu, you will see Cassandra like coming in. And then if you go down, Alexius will take her place. And if you like switch back, then Cassandra will like slowly come back and the other way around. So you can kind of toy around with that. I don't really like the like golden border there. But it's, it's free, you can download it if you want. Like I already teased, I will have a full start to end romance with Cassandra up on the channel really, really soon. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe for everything as that's good Odyssey if you haven't already. I already got a ton of content from my E3 2018 play session up on the channel with more stuff coming your way. Check for example my most recent video on an awesome bounty system that will give us endless bosses to kill. Drop a like to support the channel and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.